What we have here today is a 20 inch Sears Kenmore box fan. This fan here dates to some time, I would say, around mid to late 60s. It's a three speed fan, electrically reversible with thermostat. Pretty high end deluxe model. The fan also has its original rollabout stand. Pretty high end one, too. These Sears Kenmore fans came in all kinds of different variations, forms, color schemes, you name it, they made it. And even they were variation in terms of power output as well. Now all the fans that I've already that I've shown are, you know, were on the lower end of the spectrum in terms of power output. This one on the other hand is on the very opposite end of that spectrum. This is one of the most powerful box fans. I have ever seen. This fan is powered with a Westinghouse motor, a one-fifth horsepower Westinghouse motor. That is absurd for a 20-inch box fan. Three speed, shaded pole, reversible. Blade pitch on this fan is absolutely enormous. Like I said, this fan is a force to be reckoned with. All these, I believe, were manufactured by Vernco. Pretty sure four Sears Kenmore. The fan is in pretty decent shape for its age. It's got like a root beer brown cabinet, and the front grill there is all made of plastic. The um, the fascia where it says Sears Kenmore there is wood grain. It's kind of hard to see in the lighting, but it's wood grain. You know, you can tell that two of the plastic slats on the grill bottom were broken on the bottom. But otherwise, everything's intact. The rear grill's metal. So let's go ahead and unleash the beast. And we'll take it down the left. Low speed's pretty decent for this freaking thing. So it throws out a pretty decent breeze and decently quiet. Thermostat does work, as you can tell. Let it coast here, then we'll start up on low on exhaust. If it has a pilot light there, as you can see, it lights up. When the thermostat is disengaged, start up on low exhaust.
medium. Even with these blades being kind of directional bias toward intake, the way the curvature of the blade are is, this thing still moves an obscene amount of hair on the exhaust. It was blowing everything around here in the basement. I'll go ahead and give you a up close shot of it. Here's Ken Moore's script, pilot of light, thermostat, and speed control. A little bit worn, but no big deal. Said you want a broken spot in the grill is right there. Said an obscene blade pitch. Said root beer brown cabinet. Back side of the fan here. Let me see if I can this a little bit. Get you to look at the tag here, the camera would focus. I don't know if I can get you. Yeah, there's the tag. You probably see motor one fifth horsepower, 1050 RPM. On the bottom here is the part number. I always use those. Ridiculous part numbers there on this fan. Now, like I said, this is a one-fifth horsepower motor pushing this 20-inch blade. That's a freaking roto beam. That uses a one-twentieth horsepower motor to push those cast aluminum blades. Even though the motor seems to be a lot bigger. However, this is a much older fan. And it's only a quarter of what this thing's rated. So, that's all I got for this one. So, I thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video on this Sears Kenmore box fan from the mid to late 60s. So, thanks for watching Matt's Fan Store. Hope you enjoyed the video. And like always, we'll be seeing you next time.